Hi, I'm Steve Hansen with GridLogic, and in this visual how-to I'm going to demonstrate how you can use Excel Web Services to easily harness the power of Excel within other applications. Excel Web Services is one of the four primary interfaces exposed by Excel Services, a component of SharePoint Server 2010. So in this demo I'll build a simple calculator that will allow you to enter formula in the Windows Run window and then using Excel's calculation engine the program will evaluate the formula and display the result. So for example one of the trivial things I do all the time is I want to figure out a loan payment or a payment um, in Excel. So rather than opening up Excel entering in my formula, viewing the result, closing Excel I just click on start, run and I can enter a formula right here in the run window. Go ahead and click OK. And just like that, I'll get the result right back. So I can see the result here. Um, now, it was really easy to build this. To begin, I simply saved an empty Excel workbook to a SharePoint document library. I named the workbook here Calculator. And if uh, you take a look at it here, you can see there's really nothing in it. It's just that an empty Excel workbook. So what I want to do is, using Excel Web Services, just take the formula that I provided uh, when I opened up the Windows Run window. And using Excel Services, I want to push that out into this workbook, into cell A1 here, calculate the workbook, read the result of cell A1, and then just display that back in my console application here. So after I save this calculator workbook out to SharePoint, the next step then is to uh, create the project in Visual Studio. So I've already created the project here and the first thing that I did when I created the project was add a reference to the Excel web service. Now to do that you can just go to the project and we want to uh, add a service reference. Clicked on the advanced button and we really want to add the web reference here. The web reference that I need is for Excel services so my server here is called spdev and the reference to the Excel Web Services is in a virtual directory. It's vti underscore bin and then I need, it's called Excel Service ASMX. So if I hit enter here I can see I've got my Excel Web Service. So then I just go ahead and click add reference. Now I've already done that in Visual Studio here it's called Excel. Now the way that this program works is uh, like any console application when it runs it's going to run this main function here and it's going to accept um, an array of string arguments. So the first thing I want to do is just make sure that at least one argument was passed in the formula I'd like to evaluate. And assuming that there was one passed in I'm just going to take the first one here and I'm going to pass it into a method that or a function I have below called calculate. Um, this is just going to return the string result of that function and then just write it back out to the window. So let's take a look at the calculate function here. Um, the first thing I need to do is instantiate the, the web service. So you can see I've done that. I've also created an out status variable here. Um, this is just a parameter that needs to be passed into many Excel services method calls. The next thing I've done is I've created a couple of variables, one to hold the uh, path to my workbook. You can see here it's out in shared documents, calculator.xlsx, um, a string to hold the worksheet that I'm going to use. Um, I could have used any of the worksheets here, I just chose sheet one. And then I need to pass in the credentials I'd like to use when I'm calling into Excel services. So I'm just using the default credentials here. Now the first thing I need to do then is to open the workbook. Um, I open up the workbook given by the workbook path I created right up here. Um, and then when you open the workbook you get a session ID. So the session ID I'm going to need to pass into all the rest of the functions that I call or methods that I call in my Excel web service here later on. After I open the workbook I want to set the cell um, specifically cell A1 which is given by these two parameters here these are bring up IntelliSense you can see an integer for the row and an integer for for the column so unlike the Excel client when you're using Excel services these are um, zero based numbers here so 
0 represents the first row and 0 represents the first column. So that would translate to cell A1. The final thing I pass in is the formula I'd like to put in, into that cell. And then after I put that formula in the cell, I want to call calculate workbook. Just passing in the session ID and then I uh, want to go ahead and recalculate that workbook. The final thing I need to do then is to re read the value of the cell after I calculate it. So I'll just call the get cell method here, passing in many of the same variables that I passed in for set cell. And the final thing I'll do then is close the workbook. After I've created the console application, the next thing I need to do is map this to an easy way to call it when I choose Windows and run. So notice here that I've got, uh, I just enter in the text XL and then in quotes here, the formula I'd like evaluated. Now there's multiple ways to do this. The way I chose, however, was just to uh, add a new registry key. So I'm going to bring up regedit so you can see where that's at. And the path is uh, HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, App Pass. So I created a new key here called Excel.exe, which is just the shortcut that I'd like to use, rather than having to type in the full name of my um, executable, which if I bring this up, you can see was command line calculator.exe. Um, and then the path here is simply the path to the executable that was created when I um, when I built the solution. With that in the registry now, whenever I type run and I type Excel and then in quotes whatever formula I want. So obviously 4 times 5 is pretty easy to do here so I'm going to click OK. I see the result is 20. Um, but the real handy part of this is to do run and then if you know the uh, the formula in the different Excel functions um, you can use that in here as well so if I want to use average for example and I wanted to average all of these numbers I could go ahead and enter those in click OK and I can see that the result was 46 or the average was 46 for those numbers so this is pretty cool because now I can enter any valid Excel formula in my run box and see the results without having to open up Excel. Sweet! Anyway, that concludes this visual how-to. I'm Steve Hansen with GridLogic. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.